Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some easy and delicious instant cochilita pibil empanadas. So in case you guys want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. We're going to begin by making our adobo. In a blender cup, we're going to add one tablespoon of peppercorn, one tablespoon of oregano, two and a half teaspoons of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of allspice berries, along with half a stick of cinnamon, six garlic cloves, three quarters of a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice, one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, and 3.5 ounces of achiote paste, along with five whole cloves. So now we're going to blend into smooth. Okay, so once we have our adobo, now we are ready to put it together to our, with our meat. To the instant pot, we're going to add six pounds of pork shoulder. I'm going to add salt. I'm using three tablespoons. Okay, so that we're going to add our mixture. Just make sure that the whole meat gets coated. Okay, so once we have our meat in there, we're going to add three bay leaves and the zest of one orange. And one cup of chicken broth. Make sure that you mix it all together. Okay, so now we're going to close it. Make sure that it's set on sealing. We're going to be cooking on the meat setting for one hour and 30 minutes. All right, you guys, so once our meat is done, we're going to allow it to sit for 20 minutes. I guess of course our cochinita pibil needs is pickled onions. So I made this ones last night and this is how I made them. Just get a mason jar. We're going to use one purple onion. So you can make this the night before or while we wait for the meat to finish cooking. So just add a pickled onion. Make sure that you cut it into strips. I'm going to, I'm going to be using two habaneros. Okay, for my spices, I'm going to be using salt. I'm using two teaspoons, two teaspoons of oregano and one teaspoon of black pepper. Going to fill it up halfway with hot water. The rest is going to be with white vinegar and one juicy lime. Close it, shake it, and allow it to rest. And that's how they're going to turn into this beautiful red color. Okay, and after 20 minutes, we leave any leftover steam. And once we've done that, we're going to open it. Let me tell you that it smells delicious. And now we're just going to remove our meat from our Instant Pot. And our meat should be super tender. Just look at that. Okay, so now we're just going to shred it. And I'm going to remove some of the fat and of course the bone. All right, so once we have our meat all nice and shredded, now we are ready to put our empanadas together. Okay, so for my empanadas, I'm going to be using pre-made empanada dough, but of course you can always make it at home. I will leave the recipe in the description box. So I'm just going to grab one disc, put my meat in the center. Now we're just going to close it. Make sure that you press down the edges. And then go with the fork and just press it down all around. Okay, so once we have our empanadas ready, now we are ready to cook them. You can fry them or bake them. I personally like my empanadas fried, so now we're ready to fry them. Okay, so I like my empanadas fried, so I'm going to fry them in my oil. And my oil's already nice and hot. So we're going to fry until they're nice and golden. Okay, so flip them over to the other side so that side can get nice and golden as well. Okay, once they're nice and golden on both sides, we're going to remove them from the oil. And repeat the process to the rest of our empanadas. Okay, and once we have all of our empanadas, now we can get ready to enjoy. All right, you guys, and of course you can serve them however you want, but to be honest, these empanadas don't need that much. Just the pickled onions, a salsita, and that's it. 
I like to eat them like this. Take a bite and enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I am so ready you guys, let me tell you that this recipe is seriously super easy and super delicious. Um, if you like carnitas but don't like you know all of the lard, then let me tell you that you're going to love this recipe. The carnita is super flavorful, so tender, it's just honestly the best. So good, and like I said, you don't need much, you know, the pickled onions already have the habanero and it's already spicy, so it's just perfect just like this. So hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. And the best part is that if you have carnita left over, you know, just uh, recook it in a little bit of lard and make some tacos, and I promise you that's going to be the best. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's a perfect appetizer for your guests on any upcoming gathering or the holidays. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious cochinita pibil empanadas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you record this recipe, please don't forget to send me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.